It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Joey Grabanski, who is now the all-time home run leader in the NAIA with more than 78 now at 79 home runs. Uh, Joey, you got the two home runs you needed. You came into the series against Morningside. You needed one to tie the record, two to break the record, and you got them both in the same game. Talk about that. Honestly, uh, I had just talked to Coach Dupick the day before, um, and we are like, it's going to happen when it happens. Um, there's nothing really that needs to be stressful about it. Just go out there and keep playing your game. And honestly, that's kind of just what I did. I kind of stuck to my approach the best I could and just got pitches to hit and got lucky enough to drive a couple out of the yard. In light of that, and I, and I know that uh, you weren't trying to pad your stats or anything like that. By the way, a 13-11 victory over Morningside <laughs> in that series opener. So, you know, those two shots, I'm sure, went a, a long way toward that win. And in light of what you're saying there, did, did it play in your head any at all? Not a whole lot. I mean, I thought I did a pretty well, uh, pretty good job of kind of keeping it on the back, just in the back of my head. I knew it was there. Um, I, it, people kept asking me. Uh, a new road trip happened. Like people would ask me, "Hey, how many more you got to go?" Like, especially once the countdown started, it was a little hard not to kind of pay attention to it. But I thought just going out there and just being the doing the best that I could, just to stick to my approach and got do what got me there. So. I thought I did a pretty well jo good job of that. So, and and it looks like you did. I think the proof is there. Two for three in that game. You had an out before you had the the back to back at bats with with a home run, a, a solo shot in the third, three run blast in the fourth, and you had five plate appearances on the day. And I, I wanted to give uh, even uh, just maybe uh, uh, some props to the Morningside pitching staff because after you got your two home runs, they walked you the rest of the time, but they seemed to at least give you an opportunity. Yeah, they they uh, put up a good couple plate appearances, or I put up a good couple plate appearances after that. I mean, they were still trying to get me out. Um, they weren't free by any means. I, I thought I worked some counts to uh, try and, you know, just try to help us win some more games, to try to find pitches to get. And I got a couple in one of their, one or two of those ABs there, but I just missed them, fouled them off or whatever. But I just kind of fought as much as I could, got on base that way, and just any way I can help the team. Uh, by taking extra bases or just taking walks when they come, I guess. It, it it really helps everybody else in the lineup as well. We're speaking now with Joey Grabanski, who is now the all-time home run king in the NAIA. And I appreciate the humility in that, too, in, in talking about your teammates. I wanted to ask a, about that in just a moment. But the number is now 79. 77 tied the record, 78. You set a new record, 79 and now. And by the way, shout out to Jake Nabel, who is the sports information director at Concordia. And for my money, I think he's one of the best SIDs in all of college. That's regardless of division. You need to go to the website, the Concordia website, because every single one of Joey's home runs are accounted for in the story talking about him breaking the record. It really is interesting. You look back on those and, and, uh, I have to ask, I mean, even though the your career is not over yet by any stretch, are there any of, of those home runs that, that stand out maybe more than, than others? Um, I mean, I finally got to see the video of my first career home run. Um, that one, I think, looking back at it, is always going to be one of my most memorable. Uh, just the first one in college, kind of see the joy and excitement of some of the guys on the bench. And even my coach or the, our assistant coach at third base when that happened, um, even the the walk off I had against Morningside my freshman year, uh, just the pure excitement from my teammates after that walk off win. And honestly, the rest of them are kind of just all a blur, um, just kind of a, a part of a process that I've been working for the last couple of years, just uh, trying to drive the ball as much as possible and. Honestly, the results just kind of played out. So, that's pretty cool. Well, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. also you, know, you talked about doing what you can for your team, and I, I think it's it's warrants attention also that you're not the only big bat on that team. I mean, you 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 have the record right now, but uh, you and Jaden Quinn last year, what a season that was! As you both 
uh, set and now have the single season home run record, both of you with 27 that you took yard in the same season. Talk about playing with, with him and with some of those other big bats on the team. That has to be a big help for you too. Yeah, it, it does help out a lot. Um, Coach Dupic has recruited a lot of guys um, that play well with each other. We created this family bond as part of our culture here. And um, just playing with them allows each person to play a lot more freely, knowing that you have people in front of you or behind you who aren't afraid to work out, who aren't afraid to put good up ass together after you. And I think especially when one thing happens, a lot of the time that momentum just keeps rolling with our team. And with Jaden, <laughs> it was kind of funny because beginning of last year, I think it was during the winter, some live at bats, uh, we were kind of just joking around. We were like, hey, let's just go out there and let's just have fun this year, compete with each other and see if we can just tie for the record at like 25. And we happened to end up tying at 27. We beat our own standard that we set. And I think just having that inner competition with each other every day has made a lot of uh, success for us and has built us to become better baseball players every day. So, you know, it, and it sounds like you're having fun. And I think that that goes a long way toward culture, towards wins when you're playing and you're enjoying it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I think the more fun we have, the better we all play. So well, I think we just keep having fun and uh, keep enjoying some wins and keep playing baseball and see how long we can play. So You were talking about what uh, coaches has brought in and bringing players that can hit the ball. You, you are, you're not the only one putting RBIs up, Jaden as well and some others, but um, you set the record – your freshman year, and I'm, I'm going to read these numbers to you. Put a new RBI record in each year so far to this point. As a freshman, you had 60. That at that point was a record, which has been broken more than once. Uh, your sophomore year, 67 RBI, which at that point was a record, been broken again. By you, last year, had 80, 85 RBI, 57 so far. That puts you at 269 coming into this weekend, which, by the way, is a, is a career record. Obviously, the numbers add up right there, but I mean, you guys have just been finding ways to put runs on the board and, and talk about that. It's not just uh, going yard every time, but you've been moving runners around the bases and getting them into score. Yeah, a lot with uh, kind of what I touched with earlier, just everybody gets on base. I mean, the more guys that get on base, the more RBIs you can drive in. Um, just kind of taking advantage of those opportunities when they come. Um, just Even just the sacrifice flies, they add up here and there. And I mean, having guys who will get on base in front of me have helped a lot. And that's the same thing I'm trying to do for the guys behind me as well is just try to get on base. That's kind of what we preach the first couple of years here. Just you can't win a baseball game if you don't get on base. So how much can we get on base and how much can we score runs? So, I mean, that's kind of, kind of where we took it. And honestly, Jaden Adams and Jaden Quinn, both getting on base in front of me have helped a lot. So just, taking advantage and uh, keep scoring runs, I guess. So, Well, now I have to ask this, you know, if, uh, if one of the other of those guys who, by the way, both of them can take the ball uh, out of the park, that didn't, that didn't help your RBI total. If they're, if they, you know, right in front of you get up there and they clear the bases themselves. So not letting you add up on your RBI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, they do that and it kind of just keeps building momentum and like i said just if they do it i'll get on base or maybe i hit one out too solo shot but i mean just we try to score as many runs as possible when we can so i mean that's the best way to play baseball score runs so well and, and i just tease you with that too i, I know i in in talking to you and listening and and learning about you uh, i i know that you're you're in it to win it and not about the stats but uh, it, it's, I'm sure, again, it goes back to having fun and, and playing with, with folks that you like to play with. Well, I'll ask you this uh, really quickly. Four more double headers that you have, and then you have GPAC postseason following that uh, on the road at Jamestown, and then you have uh, uh, double headers that are back home. Uh, talk about the rest of the season and what you see in it, what it means to you to, to close out this year. Um, it's nice to get to close out the season at home this year. Um, all of our fan base usually does pretty well, uh, kind of our family, like they travel well, but it's still nothing like playing at home. 
Um, everybody who, uh, I guess everybody lo loves playing at home. It's the best place to play because you get your, you get, you get that home field advantage type of say, but it's definitely not going to be an easy road um, with our competition all week or the next two weeks here. They're, they're all going to be scrappy teams and we still got to keep playing our best baseball, but I think playing at home for, I think six out of the eight of them are, uh, is going to be a big advantage to us. And uh, we do a pretty good job of kind of, we have this short porch in right field and we do a pretty good job of taking advantage of it. Um, being in the Midwest, kind of wherever the wind blows. I mean, I think we've always done a good job with trying to switch our approaches around a little bit, just to kind of manipulate a little bit more of driving the ball backside if we have to, or doing whatever we have to take to kind of drive the baseball and score runs. So. Do you all, when, when you get to the, the park, do you smile if you know if it's blowing out to right? <laughs> I don't think anybody else does as much as I do, honestly. <laughs> uh, I kind of get I kind of get teased because I check out which way the wind's blowing like a week before we play. So, <laughs> well, I understand. Well, I, congratulations on the success and and what you've been able to accomplish in your time at Concordia, and all obviously success to you all for the rest of the season. I hope it goes well for you, Joey Grabanski, the new all-time home run leader in the NAI, now with seventy-nine home runs and counting, because the career is not over yet. Thank you so much, Joey, for taking time with us here today on the summit. Thank you for having me.